Hey everyone, this is Sarah Fezio, and today I'm doing an experiment to see if it matters whether you pour your paint from up high or whether you pour it from down low. So I've already mixed up some colors and I want to use the same amount of paint in each one. So I've got some bright aqua green by Liquitex. And I'm going to put in here. Hopefully we'll have the same amount in there. Okay. I have oops, fresh tangerines. which is a Glidden Diamond color. I have a brown color, also Glidden Diamond, which has thickened up on me, so I'm just going to add a little bit of water. Okay. So I have the same amount of each color in the cups. And the last color I have is another Liquitex color, which needs to be thinned down some more. And this is, um, actually this is an Artist Loft color, I'm sorry. This is Parchment. Now, I did another one of these, and I kind of had an accident where the paint leaked out from underneath the cup, but I still think it made a difference. So this is attempt two. So I'm just going to clear some space here. I am going to use uh, my Mix, Miss Mix Tea color to coat my canvases first. Which is what I did not I did not do this in the other one, but I have larger canvases here. Now I have two cups. This cup I'm going to pour from up high, but I'm going to put a clear liquid in it and this is just some deep base, okay? Which ideally I drip some of the teal in it. Ideally you would want to be able to see through that, but it's too cloudy to see through. This is my low cup. This is my high cup. Okay, so on my high cup, I'm going to start with my brown, and I'm going to pour from up here by the camera, okay? So I'm pouring all the brown in from 12 to 18 inches above. Okay. 
Now on my low cup, I'm going to add the brown, but I'm going to add it right next to it, next to the edge. So I just dumped all the brown in. Okay, then we're going to add, we'll start with the orange, with this is low. And then the orange from up high. Okay. I'm going to do from up high my parchment. I definitely have cells. And then from up high my teal, my aqua green. Okay, so I'm going to set that down here. Now I added part, this is low, I'm going to add parchment. And now I'm going to add the aqua green. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, this is where I messed up in my other video. When I flipped the cup, it all came out. So we're going to do low on this side. Okay, I did much better that time, except I have paint all on my hand and arm. Occasionally I have issues where it all spills out the cup. Okay, now I'm going to do the one I did from up high. Low, high. I'm going to let that sit for a minute. I can definitely tell a difference on the side of the cup. Let me take you down and show you. So there's the other two. I got paint on it. Oops. That's high. And that's low. So there's a huge difference. Okay. So this was low. Okay. And let's do the high. There's a big difference. All right, so I really like this one, but I'm going to do this one first because it's pouring off my canvas. So remember, I do have wet paint on there. I don't really want to pour all those brown cells off or the orange, but I think I have enough on there. just to kind of cover. Okay. Now I'm going to tilt it back over till I get something I'm kind of happy with. Now we're going to do this one, which is also running, but I still have cells. Let's pour this off this way.
So did that make a difference? I think so. When I take this into account and then the first set of experiments, yeah, there's a huge difference. I got cells on this example and no cells over here. Maybe a few, there were a few up there that I poured off, but nothing like what I got over here. For some reason, and if I can find a clear liquid to pour into, I would love to see what it looks like if the liquid is completely clear, how we can see how it's interacting. If you have paint and you make sure to mix everything exact, okay? And when I say exact, like you weigh it, you check to make sure that, I'm just covering the sides as I'm talking, and you check to make sure that you have the same amount of water in each one, you have the same amount of pigment in each one, or the same amount of paint in each one, the same amount of pouring medium, if that's what you're gonna use. The density of the pigment itself, not the paint, but the pigment, that will make a difference in your painting. However, in this case, we didn't do that, so the difference is in how the paint, um, how the paint responds in the cup, like when I'm putting it in there. I'm going to have to fix that side with some brown. Let me see. Does it make a difference? Well, obviously, it's the way it goes into the cup is totally different. I'm not sure I'm saying that right. Okay, let me think about how I want to say this to you guys. And I'm going to take my gloves off. When you're putting your paint into the cup, okay, if you just go sploosh like this, it just lands in a glob. But whenever you're pouring it from out high, up high, if your paint is thicker or thinner than the paint that's already in the cup, the way it's going to go into the cup is different, is what I'm trying to say. And that's why you get different results. So yeah, pouring from up high does make a difference because look at all the cells I got over here and then using the same colors, nothing really over on this side. Okay, so let me take you down and show you the canvases up close. I mean, look at that. That's gorgeous. And over here, it's still really pretty, but there aren't really any cells. There were a few, but not a lot. And they were in there in such a way that they got poured off the canvas. So there you go. Does it matter? Yeah, I think it does, because these are my other ones. I'll let you guess to see which one you think was from up high and which was down low. Okay, so if you have comments, questions, suggestions, please leave them below and I will get back to them as soon as possible. I definitely think that it does make a difference whether you're pouring from up high or down low. Oops. All right, I wanna thank everyone for watching. Comments, questions below. In the description also, I have a list of all the materials I used today. I'd love to know what you guys think. Have you had similar experiences when you're pouring from high or low? Let me know, I'd love to find out. Also, you can leave me questions, comments, or reach me through my Facebook page, Sarah Fezio Artist. I'd love to hear from you guys. I love it when you share your paintings with me. It was, I'm like, oh my gosh, the excitement is so amazing sometimes. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Lots of love. Bye.